What's up, boys and girls? We're back. We got headphones now. We can hear. Sound good. Uh, what's the volume like? Oh my god, it's crap quality. For some reason, like way crapper than on my Bluetooth headphones. Cool. Got volume up a bit. Okay. We'll just we'll, we'll deal with the crap quality. My fault. Should have charged me headphones. Didn't like a scrub. So in this, no. Right, okay. What are we doing? Uh, it wants us to be over that side. Whoops. Whoops. All right, we've got to breach this man's perimeter. Which I assume is here. Yeah, let's do some perimeter breaching. Nice. Oh, oh. That would actually be the best form of defense, I was thinking, getting the zombies to like gather around your front door. As long as your front door is as secure as this man's. Um, okay, we won't enter just yet. We're just going to have a little sneak peek at what's going on around here. Anything interesting? <gasps> I need a magnetic key card to get into there. Um, which we don't have. There's a way back home over there. Be nice. Uh, I haven't seen the box for this place. The CCTV box. Just quick scan, make sure I don't miss it. No, I haven't. I don't think I've seen it yet. But oh, am I? He's got some incense burning. Though it must smell good in there. What? Oh. So this guy's lost his mind. Alzheimer's or dementia potentially? Um not sure. Um Bit rough though, right? Bit rough though, right? Yeah. And this is where um also I don't understand the point of that. Um nope. Key card required. I assume he'll give me the key card when I sort this fucking shit out. Um, yeah, so anyway, this uh, brings me on to talk about the writing of this game, which, you know, we've obviously seen bits and pieces of, um, building the game world, some of the lore around the Ravens of D and stuff like that. Um, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the building of a complete world, or, or at least some efforts to build like a kind of complete world um this is now open nice is that searchable no um and i think this game does that it does that quite nicely uh building a world that feel it feels like you're in a a real kind of environment like uh not just it doesn't feel so paper thin as some some games kind of feel where it's like well, we've got a game with cool mechanics and we just need like a flimsy paper thin premise to like get you to play the game. Um, and I think this does a bit more than that, which is cool. Um, but also I like the human stories that this game kind of tells in the background. Um, and that's why I think it kind of works because they're not thrown in your face too much um, in the sense that there's not loads of big long pieces of dialogue and exposition and like this, that and the other. Um, you don't have the protagonist. Wait, there it is. Uh, you don't have the protagonist, like you know, fucking voicing his thoughts to be like, "Hmm, that person's going insane." Like you have to kind of do a little bit. Fucking hell, there's a lot of zombies somewhere. Um, you have to do a lot of the legwork yourself in that sense, which again I think helps uh, 
makes it feel a bit more rewarding. Um, you know, everyone likes to feel like they've figured something out, even if they haven't really figured it out, even if it was fairly obvious. Um, right, here we go. So where am I going for these fucking antibiotics? I'm going to a nursery for these antibiotics, aren't I? Christ. Let's just fucking might as well do that, mightn't we? Nice, got that map. So there's a door. Door here to the safe house. Door there. A door just there. Don't know what that's a door to, but we'll have a look at it in a sec. Right, let's go into the safe house. Now this... Uh, oh, so that's the same as that door. Okay. Show a quick scan for loot in here. Nope, doesn't look like it. This is an IP hackable door, right? Yeah, there you go. God, this fucking prepper is such... He is like the sassiest, min most manipulative girlfriend slash boyfriend uh, slash whatever partner that you could have, like, do you know what I mean? He's so passive aggressive and snotty when you don't do what he wants. Ugh, ugh, hate, hate him, hate him. Right, let's tap this up. Now, what I am gonna do here uh, is I am actually going to, and I'm gonna do it all on screen, obviously, because fucking, you know, wait, can I actually storm? I don't. There we go. Um, I don't actually know if Storm in the petrol station is an option. Like, it says it's not too late to, and my my goal, one of my goal markers is still on the petrol station. But I wonder if that's just because that's, you know, it's like, go do this goal to then do this goal. Um, God, this place is a bit a bit extra spoops with... Uh, what's my... My health is full. Cool. Uh, right, so we're going to retool a little bit. Um, going to get rid of some stuff. We're going to just put all of this crap... Oh my god, I've actually run out of room in my, in my box. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, right, so we're going to get out... The assault rifle. And... Do I want the sniper? No, not really. I think I'm okay without it. Uh, we're going to grab some more ammo for the pistol. So we've got plenty of ammo for the pistol. Uh, let's get rid of the carbine ammo. We're going to get out some more ammo for the shotgun. Uh, because we could do with that. Yeah, we'll actually stick with quite a lot of ammo. Uh, don't really see the need to have the small healing items that are just kind of useless. Um, especially if you've already got a big one. So again, another large healing item out. Uh, we'll grab a mine, and we've already got a Molotov, right? Okay, so we've got the assault rifle. Uh, let's bring the spare assault rifle ammo, even though... Oh, we've actually got our base gear hole extra clip. It's not bad. Okay, so we've got a full backpack now. We're not going to be able to loot anything, uh, which is fine. I think there is loot in there, but honestly, I'll just come back off screen and collect it if I need to. Um, the reason we're kitting out... Well, you'll, you'll see the reason we're kitting out. I mean, it seems pretty obvious. It seems, you know, like this is going to be a bit of an ask, um, getting through bacon fields without dying. And it is a bit of an ask. Um, I'm not count. I'm still not counting my 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 bullshit death. Still not counting it. I'm gonna say this is a deathless playthrough so far. Technically, it is because I started again and haven't died yet with this character. So technically, it is a deathless playthrough. Just want to put that out there. Um, but yeah, this is this is gonna be an interesting one. I don't get what the point of having that door lower down is if it forces you to walk up here anyway. And if... Oh my god, is it raining? 
Oh, it is. Uh, right. Let's lower this guy and we can one-shot him. Lure him over here. Oh, he didn't get one shot. Interesting. Yeah, he's easy to put down though because we set him on fire. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to scan all these. God, there's loads of crows around here. Oh, not a good sign. Or ravens, I guess they're supposed to be. They're, they're not though, they're crows. Um, they would be crows if this is the UK. Um... Wait, you, you're normal. It'd be good if the scanner could tell you what kind... Uh, I guess that doesn't matter, because they're fairly obvious visually. Oh, hello. Where? What's what's cottoned onto me? One of the ones I scanned has cottoned onto me. The one I scanned has cottoned onto me. Right, let's give him a whack. Bish. Bash. Bosh. See, I knew it'd be the triple threat, the bish bash, and then the bosh. Cool, right, let's just have a look at him. He is a big boy zombie with a big helmet for his big fat head. Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god, I've just aggroed one and I can't see where he is. I just tried to quick turn. Oh, it was him. Okay. Um, I tried to quick turn, but using the um, Resident Evil 4 quick turn button scheme. Alright, it's just uh, Bish Bash Bosh gets helmet off, and then Bish. Oh, missed. Ah, oh, fuck you. Bash, and then Bosh. Yeah, I put him down. Where is he? God, he's under the ground. <laughs> well, nice. Nice. Not not going to comment on that, just moving, moving swiftly on. Are you a zombie? Maybe. Alright, we're going to go clear the other side of this before we... Yep, hello? Might be on the other side of here. Yeah. Oh my god. You just got one shot, woman. Damn, son! You got one shot in. Alright. God, it's really hard for me to see because of... Ooh. I knew that'd be, yeah, I knew it. Knew it. Didn't know it as in, like, actually... Oh, God, I thought that guy had, like, a balloon attached to his head because of this. I was like, what the fuck? Why is that man wearing a balloon? I was like, it's some flying zombie I've never noticed before. Oh, he's viruside positive. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I haven't gotten to use the viruside thing or had to use it once. Um, I think I went through the first game. I might have used it one time. Um, but I don't even think I can have the choice of just vi no see like I don't even have the choice of like virus hiding him. Um, like I can acquire virus side from him, but I can't like use it unless they. I think the only time virus side is usable. I can't seem to loot him. I don't know if it did loot him. Yeah, it looks like it did. Um, sorry, I thought that was glowing on my scanner for a second. The only time I think virus side shots are actually used is if you are if you get that one shot grabby animation. I'm actually just gonna I've already got two health packs, so I'm gonna fucking just use that one. Probably should have waited to get hit one more time, but fuck it. Fuck it. Um I assume these sneaky bits are probably intended so that if you wanted to do uh, a no kill playthrough of the game you would be able to. I've noticed that a few things in a few areas, I think, um, are essentially just there so that if you want to do a no combat playthrough of the game, you can. Um, like that it's actually physically possible. Energy drink there. Yeah, all right, we'll go get that. Is this actually a puddle? Yeah, it's just a puddle, though. Nothing major. We'll grab that energy drink just in case we get another small hit. Can we back in? Don't have that key card. I wonder if these letters for this area are in that door. Don't know. Just thinking out loud. Um, right, I think we are clear. Oh. oh, no, in there. Yeah, capacity upgrade, Magnum. Oh, fuck, Magnum pistol. Damn. 
Damn! Wouldn't mind it, you know? Wouldn't mind it. I'm scanning over there. Uh, is that a crow on the floor? Yeah, it's a crow on the floor. Sorry, I've got... Uh, it's, it's daytime, me recording this, so... Right, so we could enter there, or can we not enter... Up here? No, it doesn't look like it. We can't get up there. Stairs are broke. Although, we could, again, quite easily climb that. But, you know, okay, so... Just have a quick look. Everything is loaded up the way it should be. Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. All right, let's give it our best shot. <sighs> Something about a dead nursery and like kids in this sort of scenario that is not the one, dude. It really isn't. It really isn't. Rack, rack door, animal, rack door, cool. Oh, hello, rack and door. Yeah, but what is, what is Bip in my scanner just around the corner? Surely it's got to be an animal of some sort. Just another fake, just another fake blip on the scanner. Fuck, man. This is grim. This is real grim. There's something about this bit of the game that makes me really, like, tense, nervous, and on edge. I think, partly, it's the similarity to... I don't know if anyone's played Dead Space 2, uh, but they'll know exactly what I'm referring to. Oh, almost. Okay, scan. No, I can't see it. If there is a zombie waiting in here for me. Just heard some horrible whispering. Okay. We're removing all bars because I want to be in a position to absolutely fucking peg it out of this nursery if I need to. Hello? Oh, this is fucking horrible. No. No, oh my god. Fucking hell, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh my Jesus, shit. That was, uh, yeah. Genuine fucking horror there from me. No, uh. Mm, oh. oh. Piercing hell. I already said this part of the game fucking puts me on edge, and then they fucking hit me with a fat jump scare. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. No. What was that noise? It definitely did a spooks noise when I first opened this window to fucking do this, didn't it? I'm not. I'm not going insane. I'm legitimately going to watch the video back. I mean, I watch most of them back anyway, but specifically for that fucking reason. Okay, up or down first. Ah, uh, natural reaction is telling me up first because down is probably where the spooks are happening. Hello. Hello? Flare. Load of empty racks and shit. Fuck, where have you gotten up from? Just there. Okay, that's fine. What? Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god, again! Fucking hell, fire! Carbine ammo, don't have enough room for it. Actually quite useful though, so tempted to... 
just drops it for it. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna fucking take the drink that I need to drink anyway. Don't have anything else I really want to drop though. I need a bigger backpack. <sighs> Christ, fucking mighty. Right, this dude's got a molly. A maulitalv. Might just leave it on him. Cool. I knew where this was going to lead. I didn't think it wouldn't let me back in. I'm okay with that though. I'm okay with a little break. Oh my god. And walking back through bits that I know I've cleared. Uh, at least I opened that annoying door. Shh, 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 shh. Stop it with the noises. Yeah, fuck it. Let's close that. I, yeah. there's a logic to be said for leaving your escape route open, but yeah, no, <laughs> I'd much, much rather close the doors behind me. <sighs> mm. Okay. Okay. Let's let them come to me. Yep. Yep. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Get that helmet off. Die little fucking slag. Oh, there we go. Let's have a little look. No, nothing. Just seems like this might have been considered room to kite back and fight. Wait, what? Crouch in? Did I just see a crouch in? Oh, fuck. Where is this taking me? Into a little janitor's room. Carbine ammo. Okay, nice. I haven't brought the fucking carbine. Oh, and a junction box. Okay, that's actually really nice. God, it is a lot less stressful doing this sort of thing with, with a map available. Stop with the whispering, please. Okay, shouldn't be any zombies in here. No, but there... Oh, it's an animal. There's at least an animal through there. Fucking hell, fucking hell. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Christ, I'm sorry. Um, I know I'm being quiet, but this is genuinely horrifying. Key card. Okay, where does that get me? Right, running about. That's fine. Get my scanner out. Have a look. Flare bar door. <sighs> So the only way really to go is the fucking keycard door. Oh, it says happy birthday. It says happy birthday. What's in there? What's that? It's the flare. I can't get through that door. I'm going to try and go through that door backwards the other way. Oh, there's no way to get to that door without going through there. Okay. What's that? I have, but I'm going to activate this first. Oh my god. This is harrowing, man. <sighs> yep. 
you see what I mean about the human stories, man? Like, fuck, imagine being caught in a nursery in charge of a load of kids when this, if this all went down. I can't even. Okay. We're actually going to put that on the right click instead of our pistol. Antibiotics, bunch of empty racks. Sorry, I'm just. <sighs> oh, my fuck. Okay. Park, man, it looks like it looks like they locked themselves in the basement, and just um, I don't even know how they killed themselves, set themselves on fire, um, because it looks like there was fire damage to that. I don't even know, man. I can't, I can't imagine them having burned themselves alive. Like that just seems like utterly horrifying to me. Fucking hell, what are these noises, man? Well, where does this lead? Oh, it's a mine. Okay. Inventory's already full. Right, where... Oh, fuck me. Okay, so... Ah! Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to try and find this boss and kill it because I'm getting too nervous now. Right, where the fuck are you? Come on. Come on, let's have this fight fair and square. Let's have this fight fair and square. Yep, yep, yep. Dark. Oh, my God. 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 Where are you? Where you at? Where you at, woman? Where you at? Where you at? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Here and now. Here and now. There you are. There you are. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't go near me. 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 Yep. No, 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 please, 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 please. Where you at? Where you at? Come on, where you at? Come at me! Where are you? Are you in there? Where are you? There she is. <sighs> oh my god! Jesus fucking <sighs> looks like the nursery manager to me. Oh, okay. Nine something seven. <sighs> Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in. I'm back in. My head's my head's back in. Sort of, you know, the game as it were. Um, 
yeah, that is just utterly the this bit of the game is fucking terrifying and horrifying and just everything awful. Um It registers her as like five different blips. Oh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Right, where are we going? Are we going back to the where we started? Yeah, we are. Fuck me. I'm all turned around. I'm all turned around and flipped over about five different ways, man. I am... This got me all the way fucked up. Let's have a look. Nine something X. Where would the other one be? Fucking hell, I hate what I'm... Hate kicking stuff around as well. Horrifying. So nine something X. I want to get in that thing. I want to get in that fucking door. I've come down here and I've gone through fucking hell. I might as well. Something X. Nine something seven X. What's in there? Sorry, I can see what's in there. UMP5 submachine gun. And some C4. Wait, I've already got C4, haven't I? Surely I can't get this far in the game without C4. No, oh, here we go. Uh, 907 something. I can probably do it off that, right? Yeah, we're just going to fucking trial and error 907 something. 9071. 9072. Hey, love it. Absolutely love it. I've already got C4, so I don't really know why. What 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 bullets does it use? <laughs> does it use the same as the assault rifle? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Oh Christ! So yeah, you can see why I came into this one kitted out. I don't even remember it being quite that harrowing. Like I knew roughly what to expect. Didn't know it would be this bad. I haven't got my torch ready. Torch is a bit empty. Just give the torch some time to recharge as we slowly inch our way back up. Hang on, we're gonna take the um gonna put the pistol back on our right click. On our right not right click, but you know what I mean. I've just about recovered from from the absolute Horror, basically. We cannot fire a firearm in here, I don't think, because I think it will explode everything. Uh, oh my god, there's that dude. Fuck me in the fuck. He is almost certainly going to get up. Right, let's just do one of these. Ready? Ready? It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it even getting vaguely into a tango with that dude. Oh my god, at least it's giving me a lot of shit to make up for the fucking horror I had to go through. At least it's trying to make it up to me with a load of good juicy bits and pieces, but fuck. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh fuck, get out of my way. Mm, leg it, leg it, leg it. Right, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna go through the um do the emergency exit. Shut the door. <sighs> okay. Okay, I've got my back to the emergency exit. I'm going to bip some zombies. I don't think there's as much need to panic anymore. I don't really need the loot is the thing. Yeah, do you know what? Fuck this. I've had enough. I, uh... I've, I've done enough getting wrecked today. <laughs> I have put my nerves through more than enough. 
I think I've justified shit this today. Oh my god. Okay. We're not out of the woods yet. Gotta remember that. Yeah, I'm gonna go through here so I don't have to go around the front of the nursery. This is a lot more open. It gives me more ability to deal with anything that comes my way. Right, where are we looking at? Are there actually any by the front of the zombie thing? No, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, okay. Oh, wrong side of this fence. What? Oh, please, please, please. Yeah, where from? All right, hello. Yeah, we're good. We're all good. There's another one. There's another one. Yeah, there's one. We'll go and kill him. Got to be a bit proactive in a situation like this because you don't want to get surrounded. There's one behind me. Oh, Jesus fucking hell. There's actually a lot of them. Oh, no. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's very bad. Run. Run, you idiot. That fucking run. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is so 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 bad. Oh, I don't like it. Um... Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying not to, dude. I'm trying not to. All right, where are you? I can't. Ah! Let me throw, let me throw, let me throw, let me throw, let me throw. Close. Oh. Oh. Let me climb up. Let me climb up. Let me climb up. Oh my god, okay, I think I've survived. Oh my god, how? How? I do not know. Are they going to get through this one? Doesn't look like it. Fuck it. I'm heading back to my home. Oh, I'm just getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I've had enough. Oh, I've had enough for one episode. Oh. 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 Was that the door? Did the door just go? Oh, who cares? I'm going home. No, no. Okay, we're not going to go to the safe house. We are, we're going to go to Spitfields Green. Let me go to Spitfields Green. Why won't it let me get there? Oh, because I haven't unlocked it. Yeah, fuck. So i got to walk back. Christ, I forgot about that. Oh, fucking hell. I hope the door didn't just fucking go. Nope, they're still bashing on it, so I think we're okay. Oh, please don't get through. I'm going to be really stressed if you get through. Where, 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 where? Okay, not down here. Are we sure not down here? Yes, okay, we're sure. They haven't broken through, have they? No. God, it's they sound so loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but they sound so intensely loud, like they're right on top of me. Oh my god. This has been an incredibly stressful and extra long episode. We're almost at 40 minutes, but I actually think it's kind of worth it. I think it's this if there was gonna be an extra long one, this was the one to be extra long. Jesus. 
I had absolutely no control over that situation when I was getting the waves coming at me. I should have got my gun out quicker to thin them out. It would have been a lot less stressful. Yeah, I didn't didn't get myself set up with a good like route. What? 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 Why does it do that? Stop it with the stressful noises. Oh, do you know what? Fuck this. We're just using a, a health pack. We're using it to make sure that I do not get fucked. Because I'll be, I'll be pissed off. It's been a while since I saved. Okay, yeah, so St. George's Church, we're obviously going to check that out later, but I saw a bit on the map. Okay, it was just a... It was just an aminal. It was an aminal. I'm still a bit on edge, if <laughs> I'm honest with you. God. God. Stressful. Stressful stuff. Right. Oh, okay. Well. Well. Well, oh, yeah, I will kill you. Don't worry, I will kill you. Bye, Vikram. Vikram, poor Vikram, poor Vikram. What about his... Oh, so I can hack myself? Oh, fuck, man. Poor guy. So was his... Did he even have a mum? You know, like, was she real? The antibiotics, was that real? Was there somebody? and Or was she infected and then has passed the infection on to Vikram and his son? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I can hack key carded doors now. And 30 metres, I think, is now the new range on my prepper. Yeah, look at that. Fucking hell. I can scan shit from absolute fucking country miles away. Yeah, I, I saw the shit glitching there as well. I hope that won't do that every time I get the scanner out now. No, I think it was just because I'd hacked. <sighs> yes. Yes. <sighs> Christ. Let's not get political here, Prepper. Fucking hell. Oh, it's been too long and a spoopy an episode. A 45 minute spoops episode for me to fucking get, um, and get political. Yeah, there we are. Oh my god, I'm actually glad that I'm done and not playing anymore. Oh, I need a rest after that. That was super stressful. Obviously, I played the game before, but I, did, uh, the later on in the game you get, the less I remember it. I'll be honest with you. I remember it less precisely. Um, just refuel that generator. They refuel that fuel. Refuel the generator. We'll end the episode with a great success. And then, uh, yeah. And then we'll we'll be back next time. There we go. Glorious. Good work, me. Yay! Oh, right. That's it from me today, guys. 
Thank you for sticking around on the long episode. I, th- I think it was a good one, though, so I think it was worth it. Um, like, comment, favourite, and subscribe for the screams, for the fear. And, but for the perseverance and getting through it without dying, the Deathless Run is still alive. Peace out, guys.